All right, so in this video, uh, I'm going to show you uh, all the tools you need and the process of getting uh, Monster Hunter Rise files, which includes models and animations uh, and textures uh, from the, uh, the zipped packs all the way into Blender. So uh, first things first, this is the Rise modding wiki. I'll put a link to this down in the description. Uh, this is, has links to everything that you'll need. Uh, the main things here are this extract rise pack .bat is what you'll use to extract the files. Um, this actually downloads the RE tool and the file list, which it needs, so you don't need to download these individually. Um, down here is the Noasis plugin. You'll also need to download Noasis, it's a separate program. And then you install this plugin, and that's what allows you to open up the RE engine uh, models and whatnot. Uh, I think that's everything you need from here. There's a couple of other miscellaneous things that you can check out if you want them. Like there's audio, which I won't go over in this uh, tutorial, but that's all fairly easy to do. So first things first, you want to go to your uh, Rise on Steam, wherever you have it installed, and you right-click it, Properties, Local Files, Browse. Uh, that'll bring you here. I think I already... No, I don't have that open. Okay. So this is the, the Rise folder, and the two uh, important files we're looking for is rechunk000.pack and rechunk000.pack.patch. So this one is the base game, so it includes all of Rise and all of Sunbreak up to... Geismagorm, I believe. And then this one is all the title updates. So, you know, you're losing Argakuga, you're Flaming Aspinus, all the way up through uh, Primordial Malzino. Uh, so with those, you, you'll copy these. I think you have to extract these individually, which kind of sucks, but it'll it'll take a little bit. So you'll go to your extract rise pack that you downloaded from the wiki. Uh, first thing is you'll, so you paste them in here. Like for example, I just uh, ripped uh, Primordial Malzino. Uh, so I have this in here. I did this yesterday. Uh, and you'll take this and you'll drag it onto this bat. And you'll see it says the RE tool found, the list is found. If these aren't found, it'll take a second and download them. But I have, obviously I already have them here. Um, and if we wait a second. All right, and after waiting a little bit, you can see that eventually this uh, console will start to just whiz past with all of the files. Uh, this takes a pretty long while because what it's doing is it's going through and checking every single file and then extracting them. Usually takes about an hour or so. Uh, so at this point, I usually just walk away from my computer and let it extract everything. Uh, but once it's done, it'll say however many files were discovered and however many were extracted, and it'll say press any key to continue. And so at that point, you know that everything it needed to extract it has. So after you've got that, um, I'm going to use the one I already have extracted since I know that one works. Uh, so you'll have this. You'll have your chunk, and you'll go in here, natives, FTM, and then you have all these folders. And if you go on back on the Rise wiki here, and we go to the home, uh, oops, over here where we have our IDs, we can click and it's got everything. It's got buddy equipment, items, monsters, uh, weapons, all that fun stuff. Uh, so if you look here, uh, specifically for the monsters, which is what I'm going to focus on in this tutorial, even though this works with, uh, where is it? it works with weapons, uh, player is where the armors are, uh, buddy is where, I think it's Otomo in this game, yeah, Otomo is where uh, the buddy stuff is, uh, but we're going to focus on monsters. So monsters are enemy, and you'll see we have a whole bunch of lists here, uh, eh, a whole bunch of files here, sorry, um, and these are all the folders of the monsters. So if we go back here, we go to our monster IDs, and let's pick I don't know, Magnum Olive. So this this leftmost tone is what we're looking for. So we see it says EM type 89. So if we go to enemy, and then we find enemy 89. Uh, so this is something you'll just get used to. Uh, zero, 00 is the base monster. Zero, 05 is a variant. So in this case, we have Magnum Olive, and then we have Scorn Magnum Olive. Uh, same thing for things like Aspinus and Flaming Aspinus. Uh, Bishatan and Blood Orge Bishatan. Uh, however, some things like uh, this one is Rathian. So we have Rathian, Gold Rathian, and Apex Rathian. And then this is Rathalos, so we have Rathalos, uh, Silver Rathalos, and Apex Rathalos. So these are separate, as in like Rathian, Rathian and Rathalos are separate. Uh, but the the variants of the same monsters will be in the same folder. So we go back to 89. So this is Magnum Allo. And the two most important ones here that you probably care about are the moat file which are, is all the animations. We have our emote lists, 
and then the mod is the model, which is, of course, the models and the textures. So in order to open these up, you're going to want to open Noesis. Where do I have that? There we go. And uh, you'll have to install the, what is it? This, this RE Mesh plugin. Um, if I remember correctly, it just goes plugins, Python. Yeah, and I have my FMT RE Mesh right here. Uh, that lets you open up those files. So let's go find Sunbreak, Rechunk, Natives, STM, Enemy, and Enemy 89, I believe it was, 05. There we go, mod. And we open this up. So it, when you click on your, your mesh file, it'll open up this, uh, which is just another way of, of viewing this. You'll see this is this mesh, and then every monster, of course, has a tail mesh if it can be cut off. Uh, so we want it to load just the normal mesh, so we click load, and there is our awesome Magnamalo, yay! Uh, you can see here, he's got a skeleton. Um, so normally, if you just want this model, for example, you don't want any anim animations, you can use File, Export from Preview, and then you'll see it's FBX, and it just exports in this file here. So if I were to export this, and then we go back, all right, let me just, yeah, reload that open this in the Explorer, and you'll see that now we have our FBX here of Magnamalo. Uh, these, the rest of these, the you can see the .txt files, uh, they're called 28 files because they technically have the extension of 28, right before the 28 is the text, that's how you can tell. Um, you can see open here, that's like his tail, uh, ALBD is like the body here. Uh, the There's a separate website, I don't think it's found on the Rise Modding Wiki, but I'll, I'll link this one as well. That goes in depth about the textures. So for example, we have the ALBD here. We click on this and we know the channels are red, green, and blue. So it's just color. And then for some reason, Rise puts inverse metallic in the alpha channel of the color textures for some reason. Um, the other things are the roughness is in the alpha channel of the normal map. Uh, so those are like the two most important things probably to know if you're setting them up for Blender. Uh, but anyway, I digress. And if you want to export these, you can just do File, Export. Uh, I usually use TGA. I don't know if that's the default. You can use PNG, but I know that sometimes PNG likes to uh, delete the alpha channel. So I usually use TGA. I haven't had any issues for it. So we can export that if we wanted to and we reload. Bam, that's right there. So animations. We're going to open our mesh. Uh, down here, you see Select Animations. We'll click that. Uh, and this opens up like a <coughs> sorry a file explorer. So right now we're in the mod file. We want to go back one, go to the moat file, and then these are all our motion lists. So when you open a uh, motion list is well a list of motions. So when you open it, you're going to see a bunch of entries, uh, and these are just they group the different uh, or the similar rather animations together. So for example, zero zero is usually a monster walking or running and turning. Uh, so you can cherry pick animations here that you want to list by just double clicking them. Uh, for the sake of this, I will just select all of them. Uh, you can see that some of these have the same frames, and that's usually because it'll be a variant of the move. For example, like turning left and turning right obviously have the same number of frames, they're just in different directions. Uh, so we have all of our motions loaded, we click OK, and then you can see here once we load that, it'll take a second. Alright, there we go. So you can see we've got our animations in this window here. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yada, whatever, he's blocking. Uh, so to export this, it's the same as a model where you just export from preview. Like that. So now we're going to go, since we have that file now, we're going to go into Blender. Let me copy this file path. All right, so we're going to import FBX, go to our file path, and you'll see here's our FBX, import this. Now, normally, since there are a lot of keyframes, uh, Blender will stop responding when you do this. Yep, there it goes. Um, but, you know, it, it's just importing everything, so you might have to wait a second uh, for everything to import. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, I've noticed that Blender is pretty laggy when you import this entire motion list just because it's a lot it's a lot a lot of keyframes uh, so that's something to keep in mind i have 16 gigabytes of ram i don't know if 32 would would help with that uh but anyway you can see that these walk and we got all of our animations in blender yay let me just 
play that. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't run super well, but you know it, it runs fine-ish. Change this to 60 because that's what Rise runs at. There you go. So you can see everything's working there. Uh, as far as textures go, uh, if you this is just a Blender thing. So if you're learning 3D for the first time and you don't know how to do this, I would recommend just looking up Blender tutorials on the node system and whatnot. But of course, there we can plug that in, and look, he's got our he's got textures. Uh, one thing to note is if we select here our materials, uh, they have a couple of materials, not too many. Uh, typically, they'll have damage, which of course is you know the damage texture when you when you break that part. Uh, usually, I don't find any use for those, so I just go ahead and get rid of them. I feel like generally, you probably won't use those uh, if you're just making animations and whatnot. Uh, I can't imagine. Uh, you might need those for some specific stuff. Um, but give me a second to convert all these textures, and I'll show a example node setup of having all the materials so he doesn't look all shiny like this, so he's got his normal map and whatnot. Alrighty, so we've got all of our textures up. Uh, so you can see here that I have our color texture here where the alpha is inverse metallic. So I feed that into an invert node, and then that output goes to the metallic. And then down here, we've got the normal map going into a normal map node, which makes the normal map, of course. And then the alpha of that is just roughness. Uh, something to note here is sure that your normal map is non-color, because if that's sRGB, you'll notice it looks a little different. Uh, the details are a little wrong, a little worse. So when you change that to non-color, you can see it changes. And that's what it's supposed to be to look correctly. So. You can see that everything works there, yay. So I think that's really about it for how to get everything into Blender. Uh, of course, you can do whatever edits you need to get to in Blender to get it out. Um, I know I personally have put some models in Source Filmmaker. I use them for other mods, for other games, things like that. Well, I hope this video helped, uh, that it was easy to follow, and that you're able to get all these models now. Uh, have fun with them, and happy hunting!